Well, it's going to be a dream come true um, for me personally. Um, being a player to lead, lead, um, you know, not just a team, but this um, this club and this team out. You know, they're an exceptional group of boys who are in there, and I couldn't be more prouder to to be walking out with them um, come Wednesday night. I think a lot comes into the mix, you know, it's 50 years since, um, you know, the last time we won the uh, European Cup and it's 150th anniversary and obviously we've had the sad passing of um, Walter and Jimmy, so I think the whole emotions together, it comes it comes in a big mix where, you know, you want to make everyone proud, um, the club, whoever's in, affiliated to the club and, you know, the ones that are obviously looking down on, uh, down on us. Do you mention that as a captain in terms of the club itself and, and the people that you've lost and what this is going to mean or do you not need to? That's the thing, I think what group of boys we have in there, they all they all understand, they all know what it means uh, to be a Rangers player and what it means to to have those people who had a big impact on, on all of us and, and even before us. Um, that's why, you know, I'm, I'm exceptionally proud to obviously lead these boys because, you know, everyone understands what it means to, to wear the shirt. When you go back to the very start, the Challenge Cup against Hibs at Easter Road, your debut, you scored a great free kick, but to think now you're going to be playing in a European final, how do you sum that all up? It's been, it's been a long old journey. It's been a long journey. Um, some would say I'm part of the furniture now, um, but you know I've said it's had its ups and downs, but you know over the years where we've you know progressed um, as a club and as a team, you know this is this is the places where you want it to be. Um, you know, you look in the trophy room, you look at how many trophies um, that are, are numbered on the walls. You know, this club's known for success and this is where, that was my, you know, my challenge when I came here. I wanted to be part of that and part of winning trophies and, you know, we put ourselves in a great position now for Wednesday night to, to you know, to win a European Cup. And, you know, I think that would be everyone's dream in that, in, that, in that dressing room and obviously every fan's dream. You're the top scorer in this competition, what does that sound like? Um, sounds crazy, um, but you know, obviously I had a few penalties and, and a few uh, moments at the back post. Um, but it's one of those where I've always said that I'm always out there to, to help the team the best way I can. If it's clean sheets, goals or assists and, you know, I've managed to pop, pop up um, at the back post a few times and, you know, the lads have obviously done well to, to buy penalties in, in the games and I've managed to convert them. So hopefully we can keep a clean sheet. Wednesday and, and hopefully I can uh, be top goal scorer in the competition. Tell us about the challenge that lies ahead. Uh, we're not frank for a, a, obviously a very good team. Um, they've knocked out Barcelona and West Ham, which are strong oppositions and you could consider being favourites. Um, you know, we don't look too much of what, what the league's saying for, for them because, you know, they've earned the respect to, to be in the final of this competition. So we've got to respect them and they'll obviously pose threats and you know, come Wednesday night, we'll we'll try doing our utmost best to to get the win that we want and try and nullify whatever threats they have. There's maybe two schools of thought that firstly Rangers have managed to beat German teams who are higher up in the league than Frankfurt, but the teams that you mentioned there that they've managed to beat on the way does that focus the mind? Yeah, um, that's why you can't really you can't really consider what league position they're in and. They've got to a final for a reason, and you know they're, they're very good on the counter attacks, and they're a German team, so they'll obviously be good on the ball, strong um, physically. So you know we just got to really nullify their threats, um, what they oppose, and you know really take the game to them. Have you spoken to John Gregg about this final, given he was the last captain, or has he spoken to you rather? I think the only time I can really speak to him is if I pick that trophy up, because. If I uh, if I don't if I don't then he's gonna give us some some stick. So my my aim is to to to, to pick up that trophy. And you would be in there with the likes of John Gregg being a, a European Cup winning captain for Rangers. Is that to well, you? That sort of levels the playing field a little bit when I have the little uh, little moments with John. Um, but yeah, it, it puts yourself in in you know in a in a category where you know amongst the greats of the club and that's where we all want to be. Well, that's where you want to put a legacy down for when, when you do, you know, the day comes when you want to retire, you can look back in your career and you can be really proud of it.